Hey guys, it's Alex, and today I am going to be doing a mod showcase on the Hunting Dimension mod. And I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that's the name at least. I set this up like a like about a week ago. I don't remember what the name of the mod is called. But anyway, wait, no, we need to see if Vitley is going to be joining us, or if I installed the stuff correctly to allow him to have his, whatever he's saying, appear on the screen. Let's see, where is he? Vitley! Bitly, did you did you set everything up correctly? Huh. Bitly, did you set did you set everything up? Huh. Hold on, wait, wait, I can't. hear Sorry, Bitly. What? Huh. I still can't hear you. What did you, what'd you say? Huh. Bitly, did you? S okay, okay. Um, will it all work? Okay. Okay. Huh. Privately. I think I installed it. I think I did it correctly. I s I'm not sure if it appeared on the screen, but... Um... Anyway. So, oh, so... What we have in here is the Hunting Dimension mod. And this is the portal, and um... I hear a spider. I'm not sure, I'm pretty, I'm not sure where that is. But anyway, guys, so... First off, we're going to need these blocks right here, which are hunting dimension frames, which are made with an arrow and a bunch of oak wood around it to make this. And then, um, uh, that's later. Anyway, um, and so then to light this, you would use any sort of sword or a flint and steel, which is what I used in this example right here. Let me just uh, break it. Let me, I'm pretty, yeah, it said that you could use a weapon. Yeah, so you can use any sword. And you could also use a flint and steel to light it. So if you know, this makes it easier on you. But then, in, when, so now I'm gonna, I'm not gonna show you guys exactly what's in the dimension because of the fact that, um, well, Whitley said it earlier, and so that, yeah, because since I have it with this world, that mobs won't spawn. That, mo that means mobs don't spawn in this dimension, so I'm going to show you guys this in another world. But you can hear all the sounds. Actually, are things spawning in there? I don't think so, but... See, you, you hear sounds of mobs, but due to the fact it's this dark, you should see a lot of them. But as you can see right here, it's a different biome. That's because of something else in the mod that I will go and show you guys how to obtain. First of all, those mob sounds are just all the mob sounds are just part of the um, portal. So anyway, so you can make this stuff called creeping moss. You can make it with um, any moss stone, moss stone, and it's surrounded by either saplings, any sapling, any leaf, or vines. And whatever bi and then you can set it to be different biomes, as seen. Here you get four of it, and for information, it allows for the biome of a chunk in the hunting dimension to be changed. Sneaking along while right-clicking with the moss will set the moss's biome type to the one you're currently in. Right-clicking normally with the moss while in hunting dimension will change the biome of the current chunk to the bi to the biome represented on the moss. This will only work in the hunting dimension. So, allow, so this will allow you to maybe like turn an entire chunk into an ocean and get squids or get strays for slowness arrows it, if, or something like that. Polar bears, um, depending on what biome it is. Um, husks, I'm not, I don't think they drop anything special, but you know. You can also probably send it, set it to the nether and use, use it for that. Or even the end to get um, some other stuff. Anyway, guys, I'm going to now show you guys what, it, what the hunting dimension would look like if you didn't have mobs spawning off. Okay, guys. And so, now, this is also another showing of the portal. Because this shows that you can make it any size. If you are going to maybe use it for some sort of cool-looking portal thing, like with the nether portals or something. I don't know. Anyway, let me just uh, show you guys what the... Oh, wait, yep, right there. Yeah, so let me just show you guys what the dimension looks like when um mob spawning is on as you can see mobs spawn 
very often and the camo creepers is still in I need to take that out but as you can see you have endermen you have the creepers and um, yeah pretty much everything is spawning however I think so that's what this is for but now you then you also have all these so let me see if I can find um okay so there's no let me find um cold taiga and um what's another one that has special deep ocean So if you go over there, certain things will spawn. And then let me just go head over here. And it says, what? Wait, why are they both ocean? Let me just go with ice planes. What? Okay, so it's it's a little bit glitchy at the moment. Where all it will do is set it to be ocean. But you can use this as large amounts of farming space as well i'm not sure how that would work with the um lack of sunlight but it seemed yeah i mean this would be a great area what like so oh, guys so this would be a great area to get large variety of mob drops very easily now one thing i'm going to test is um i'm going to go into spectator mode and as you can see underground there nothing there's nothing underground and wait what's that Wait, what's that down there? I'm actually curious. What the heck? See, this I am curious about. Hold on. What is in here? Oh, just some random chest. There didn't seem to be anything in it, but that, that was awfully weird that a chest randomly generated in the dimension. I'm not sure if that's like a bug or something. Because I couldn't open it either. Um, but I'm not sure if that's a bug or not. I thought maybe that's like some sort of treasure hunting thing that's implemented into it. But um, that pretty much concludes this mod showcase, guys. So, if you guys, if you guys found this informative, you should definitely... Oh, you should get... Yeah, you should definitely... Hit the like button if you haven't already. And subscribe if you want to get more content like this on the channel. So guys, now one quick thing to note is that I am wanting to use your guy your suggestions in the comments. So if you have an idea for something I could do on the channel, then please leave it in the in the comment section below. And I'll do my best to attempt to implement that into a video. So I'd like to thank you guys very much for watching this video. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys next time.